everyone so today's video is going to be an updated hair care routine or more to do with my extensions that I am currently wearing I have had a few requests to do an updated hair care routine and a few, a few people saying that I haven't done um, an extensions video for a while which I know I did one a few months ago on I think it was last month actually on the irresistible me clipping ones but I think a lot of people are kind of interested in my micro loop ones so I currently have micro loops in my hair which are on a tiny tiny like little ring if you want to call it and they come on like a bonded you know your piece of hair extension that you usually get you know with the gluing ones that sort of glue I think they're the same anyway uh, but the difference is they have these little bands around the top of them and they'll match those to your hair colour so if your hair's blonde you'll have you know like a lighter band or if your hair's black you'll have a black band that sort of thing I've got the darker bands because obviously my hair is ombre so it's darker on top than it is with the length it's darker on top than it is on the ends is what I was trying to get out there so I've only ever gone to one place for my hair extensions doing and that is the X Factor hair extensions and they are located in West Yorkshire Wakefield area if you live around here then you'll sort of know where that area is I think they do get people coming you know from other counties and other places other than just sort of Yorkshire area I've been going there for a good few years now I've had all sorts of different sets I've had dark brown I've had blonde I've had blonde ones that I've dyed red you know I've had all different ones to match all my hair colours this time I went sort of slightly lighter than my own hair because I wanted my hair to look a little bit blonder they match absolutely perfect every time I have never had any sort of trouble with the colour matching the colour matching is always sort of up to scratch you do go for a colour match before having your hair extensions fitted so they will go through you know what sort of hair colour is best for you and what extensions are best for you I have all sorts of different um, sort of volumes so if you've got thick hair or thinner hair they will decide what's best for you I get the extra full head because I have a hell of a lot of hair and it's not fun because it does hurt a little bit the day after because my head is so heavy I think my head is sort of used to it now and it doesn't sort of feel the pain as much uh, but yeah the first day and because I, I have to wear my hair up for work it does hurt a little bit I'm not gonna lie but you probably won't need as much as me because I have a lot of my own hair so to make it blend I do need that extra full head the ones that I have in now I've had in since November the very beginning of November and we're now at the end of January nearly February so I'm going on like three months how long I've had these ones in but you know as long as you take care of them they do last you know ages you do need to go for your maintenance probably every six to eight weeks which is just to get rid of any of the matting and if the you know where like all the bands sort of your hair wraps around and that sort of thing or if any of your hair extensions come out they'll put them back in and push them back up ones that sort of looser than the other ones um, so that's sort of your maintenance and that's every six to eight weeks now I'm not gonna lie I've not had mine done this time I've been an absolute scruff and left it but most of the time I have my hair up it's very rare that I have my hair down anymore and I just think it's because women not allowed not me being allowed to have it down for work it's a bit of an effort to put it down you know for the days that I'm not at work if that makes sense and people are going to be like well it's pointless having hair extensions but I tell you now I cannot get my hair in a ponytail without hair extensions in because my ponytail is probably about this long and it looks pathetic so I love having a long ponytail I just think it looks ace I think it looks elegant and sophisticated I just love it I just wash my hair as normal although I do wash it a lot less because the downside to having these they take forever to dry just because I've got so much of them um, so I try to avoid washing my hair at all costs which is disgusting so you know dry shampoo is a life saver for me if the micro loops out for you they also do a clipping range which they brought out um, I think it was May last year because I was involved in the photo shoot if you haven't seen it I have most of the pictures on my Instagram or they have a lot of the pictures on their Instagram as well which I will leave down below if you want to check them out because that's sort of where they put all um, the photos of their work so you can check out all the pictures of the hair that they do and they have two Instagrams actually they have the X Factor clipping hair extensions and then just the X Factor hair extensions I was part of their photo shoot for their clipping hair extensions 
so they do have that range but they also have the instalox range which is the hair that's sort of like on a wire where you pull it over your head and you literally have this massive hair piece and you don't have anything showing like there's no clips nothing it's just invisible they're amazing and that range is by Jess who was on X on the beach so definitely check those out as well if you're not sort of into clipping hair extensions but you're wanting something to give your hair a bit of length and volume they are ace and definitely have a look at those. The colour wise of my hair I have gone back to my sort of ombre blonde it's not quite as blonde as it was before it's not as high up but then again I got my hair dyed in August it was, I think it was like the end of August from really dark brown to what it was before to this colour and I have a lot of people asking me what colours I had on my hair I have absolutely no idea like I got it done at the hairdressers and I just said oh I like this colour, I like this colour I wanted it how it was before basically um, so they just did the best they could and stripped all the brown out and then did the ombre but again I'm going to sound like an absolute scrubber because I've not had it dyed since August so my roots that you can probably tell at the front are so far back to the back of my head it's just ridiculous but I think when you're ombre you can sort of get away with it like having your blonde grown out uh, but yeah mine desperately desperately needs doing so when I get my extensions taken out I will be having my roots done because they are horrendous like really bad the condition of my hair has got a lot better because before I had my extensions put back in I went months with no extensions at all like no clippings, no micro loops, nothing so I just completely like left my hair and just sort of put it up in a bun all the time and I think that did help it has grown loads uh, but still I just prefer it longer I just think having long hair looks amazing and I just love having long blonde princess hair so I think that's about it with all the sort of covering what colour my hair is and what what um, extensions I use and all that sort of thing if you do live around this area or if you, you know you travel a lot and you want to come to this area to have your hair extensions done definitely go to X Factor hair extensions because I wouldn't go anywhere else the quality is always amazing and the prices are just you know you can pay an absolute extortionate amount for hair extensions like a stupid amount and they are so reasonable and just the nicest people so definitely check those out and I will link their Instagrams down below so you can check out the clipping range and their normal range if you do want to inquire about having those done if you do have any more questions do leave comments down below and I will get back to you because I do try my best to reply to every comment also if you don't follow me on snapchat please do i will leave it here but it is ickle loves it not ickle lives it because i spelt it wrong and didn't notice uh, but yeah it is ickle loves it not ickle lives it so i'm not writing a spelling mistake i've been trying to get into that a little bit more you know promote not promoting but you know showing when i do a video and you know just trying to do a lot more on that be a bit more social a bit more active also someone said to me on instagram do have I replied looked at their DM I do not answer or I don't look at my DMs on Instagram um, I just think it all becomes a little bit too much um, so if on Twitter if you do follow me on Twitter I will always reply to your comments so yeah no your comments your tweets so if you do need to ask me anything at all I will always 1 million percent reply on Twitter so do tweet me I will leave that in the down bar also as well as my Instagram and Facebook as always and please 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 remember to subscribe wherever the button is here or here I can't remember where it is and press the bell to be notified when I upload a video and then you will never miss it because that will be great I mean the world to me so thank you for watching everyone and I will see you all in my next video bye